Hello, this is Climbing Daily. I'm Liam Lonsdale. Welcome to what will be my final show here at the Arch Climbing Wall in London. Today's is a good one. We've got Ewan Ryan from Final Crux Films and we get a chance to talk to him about his project filming a team of paraclimbers on their attempt at the Eiger. Stay tuned to find out how they got on. Um, well, my name is Ewan Ryan and I'm the director owner of Final Crux Films. Final Crux Films is an adventure filmmaking company and um, we do anything from climbing, uh, mountaineering, anything in between. I heard that Mark McGowan was taking um, these paraclimbers up the Eiger and I thought, well, there's a story in there. So I got in contact with Mark, who I'd worked with previously, and he invited me along to check them out and to see if I could film the project. Very little experience filming a project like this and this scale as well really. Um, the whole the whole feel of this was almost like an expedition. Although the West Flank is um, usually a sort of one day, one or two day route for most mountaineers. Um, I knew that this was going to be a lot more difficult due to the fact that these, you know, these people had their, their own specific challenges. They are, you know, strong people. Um, they have overcome their challenges and they face challenges on a daily basis from other areas of life. So climbing is, is almost just not another challenge. It's, it, it's almost, a, I guess, it's a, it's a better thing to do. Uh, I just love that view. Hey, that view. That? Yeah, man. It's like, yeah, it's beautiful, the clouds. For the various members of the team, each part of the climb was a different challenge. Um, Jay and John, uh, Jay autistic and John blind, um, they'd not really had much experience climbing on snow or ice. Uh, climbing involves a first um, sort of snow field and then a final ice field to the summit. It's you know bullet hard neve, so that was like a new challenge for them that they had to overcome. Um, I think for John, uh, he, I mean, it was interesting talking to them. He he doesn't really get a fear or a scare, you know, from that kind of thing because he can't see the danger, if that makes sense. And he's just you know relying on Mark one hundred percent to keep him, you know, in check, as it were. Over, over, more, more, more. Yeah, keep going. And just get the balance. You can then get the drop Straight through me. Straight past me. Hold that. Yeah. Oh dear. So I screwed it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to know better to stand. Is that bit done? Yeah, it's alright. Not bad doing it in the size 9 boots. And for Jay, um, he made an interesting point. Due to his autism, he can't really understand or fathom fear. Um, for him, he only gets overwhelmed when other people get overwhelmed. And he doesn't understand the reason for being scared. Uh, which I guess can be a good thing and, and also a bad thing. For Alex in particular, you know, MS is is um, exacerbated by heat and by, you know, exertion. And the West Flank is long and tiring. So for her, um, that really took a lot out of her. By the time she got to the top, she was, you know, pretty tired. <laughs> A lot of a lot of times in climbing, um, you only get one shot at getting a shot. Um, on this project, um, I had a little bit more time on the mountain to frame shots and to move about and to get different angles. Um, because obviously, as, as myself and Willis, who I was climbing with, you know, we're both fairly competent mountaineers who can run up and down it. Um, so with the, the paraclimbers taking their time, we could we could had we had that extra extra buffer of time to be able to get, you know, the shots that we felt we needed. Um, Willis even made the a push and went 
about 250 metres vertically up and along from us just to get some top-down shots of, of the team ascending the snowfield. You better love me for that footage because that was f***ing dreadful. <laughs> it was, however, a massive challenge for both of us because, again, you're, film, you're filming but you're also exerting yourself and you're also getting tired. Um, and then you're there with them through all the challenges. We, we were with them in the storm, we were with them on the bivvies. You know, you don't, you don't remember, I think, sometimes when you watch a film that whoever's behind the camera is also experiencing what the people in front of the camera are experiencing also. Wow, thanks for that, Ewan. That was super interesting and really inspiring. Cannot wait to see the final film. Now, you'll already be aware this is my last episode broadcasting from here at The Arch in Bermondsey. And what I wanted to show you was my personal favorite feature, which is this guy. Not this guy, the roof. The roof is absolutely phenomenal. It's horizontal in parts, 45 degrees in parts, and it's got boulders set by some of the world's best. Leah Crane, Scott Bishop, Matt Birch, Leah Crane, Loads of guys. Anyway, don't forget, before I go, you can still get until Sunday on Banana Fingers 40% off Triangle World, Chillers and Blur. It's an amazing deal. Check it out. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to being back soon. Have a great weekend.